So the next step is to assign the distances we calculate with the proximity tools, which are now stored in this raster file, to every uh, fast food restaurant in our data set. And to do that we'll need another plugin. So go to plugins, manage and install plugins, and we search for point sampling tool. There we go, we choose install plugin, and successfully installed, close, and it shows up here in plugins analysis. We have your point sampling tool window, and the first thing to do is to choose the layer that will has the points that you want to use to sample the raster layer. And in this case, that's the fast food layer, all the fast food restaurants, and the first top are all actually attribute fields inside that actual layer if you want to take that with you. And but here we see the proximity from from the raster and the rasterized uh, layer, which is not that interesting or could. We can sample the Google Maps. In this case, we're going to choose the proximity map, and let's at least uh, keep a few uh, of the parameters um, from the original data as well. So let's choose the address. Let's choose the name. Um, city street, and that's probably all we need for now. So let's uh, oh yeah, choose an output file and stick that somewhere. BGS OpenStreetMap exercise. So let's call that fast food proximity and stir it in the shape file. Click save. Let's click OK, and that's it done. So now we should have this layer, and let's open the attribute table for this layer. And here we can see that we indeed have uh, the name of the place and the proximity. And then we can of course use that to label the proximity for all these features. So we can properties, go to labels, and then let's label, choose single label, label with, let's choose proximity. And the rest should all be fine, I think. Yeah, that looks alright. And of course, we can uh, go to the symbology of this layer to select to indicate all those layer, all those uh, fast food restaurants closer than 500 meters to a school. So to do that, and uh, it would be in graduated, I think. Yeah. So we choose our proximity fields. And in this case, we only need two classes. So we now have two classes. Let's make this from zero to 500. Okay, and let's give this one a red symbol because they're in, in, tr in trouble. And green for everything further away than 500 meters. And that should do the trick. Oh yeah, let's put this layer actually on top of all the other things. That's so now, yeah, so here we have uh, basically all the green uh, places are fast food restaurants that are safe, and all the red and uh, dots are fast food restaurants closer than 500 meters to a school, uh, for our hypothetical example. And we can. Uh, can for select these these uh, things, so we open the attribute table again, and here the, with this tool we can filter things. And for if we choose the uh, proximity and we do less than, and we select enter 500, then we'll select all features less than 500. So we found 93 matching features. We can close the attribute table, and all the uh, yellow points are selected points, and that corresponds to what was also read before. So that that makes sense. And we can then export this data, export, save features as, and let's export it as a shape file. But in this case, I'm just going to do it as a CSV file, which is easy to open in something like uh, something like, like Excel. So OpenStreetMap exercise, um, fast food, 500 meter. Um, 
and the rest oh yeah and make sure that uh, only the selected features are exported so we click OK and I need to remove it here uh, so we can and I'll just need to open it somewhere else and here we see the Excel file with the different fast food restaurants uh, and their proximity to schools alright so that's, that's how we've exported this data and we can further analyze it